So in this video, we're going to be looking at task 18E, which says open the file saved in task 18D, add new data entry forms to collect data for all fields in both of the tables. Okay, so, so simply what this um, uh, question is saying is for us to create um, a form okay, for, the, for both tables, all right? So the first thing, the first thing I want you to do is first of all name the tables, uh, give the, the tables suggestive names. Like I've given students TVL uh, students, so I'm going to do the same thing for teachers. I right click and rename uh, teachers, so I'm going to have uh, TVL, something like that. Okay, so that this is exactly what I want you to have. So. Uh, so for students, we're going to create the form for students right now. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to the Create tab and then go to Form Wizard. Now, we want to make sure that this uh, picking uh, table square, slash query is here, that we're picking the right table. So first of all, I want to create for students. I want to create uh, the form for students. So I'm going, I'm going to uh, have all the fields to the right because those are what I need. I need, so if you want to do, if you want to do one after another, that's okay, by using this uh, first uh, um, arrow, okay? But I want all the fields to the right. Those are the fields I'm, I'm gonna be using for the form, so I move on. I want to leave it at columnar, okay? So the layout will be columnar. So I don't know, you can try table and um, data sheet and some of those, so, but I will take columnar for this case. And next, um, I'm going to give, so what title do you want for your form? I, I'm going to give it uh, FRM. Now, whatever I get, name you give it here is the name that is going to appear. Okay, so it's important that you give it a suggestive name. So FRM will suggest form, all right? So I'll click on Finish. Uh, loading, loading, loading my system. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so I think so. This is how you create the form for for um for students student table. All right. So this is an easy way of um of um, actually entering data into your uh, your database. Okay, or into your table. Now, um, if you go down to the uh, the corner here. Let me just close this a little bit. Yeah, if you go down, if you go down to the corner here, you're going to see, um, you're going to see the um, what's it called? The record number of records. So one of one eight eight. So here, so if you hover over the arrows, it will give you a suggestive uh, name. What they do. So this one is next record. The next one is last uh, record, and then you can have new record. In the case of um, I mean, if you want to add new record, you can click on that to add, um, add new record. And then this is for first record. So if you want to go back to the first record, let's assume I, I go to the next record, which is record number two. And I found out that this um, arrow here has been activated, which is the previous record. And if I go back to the first, this will be activated. So that's how you do that. All right, so let's go ahead to uh, create. So I'm going to save my changes and then Close this. Let's go ahead to create for for teachers, okay? Table teachers. So we go the same step, create form wizard, and then it's so here. So because I just uh, click on teachers over here, so that's why immediately teachers uh, is automatically teachers table is automatically um, picked over here. All right. So but in the case where it did not, so just go over here to make sure that the table. Uh, Selected is what teachers say. Are you with me? So uh, I need all the fields. So I'm going to move all the fields. Okay. So um, yeah. Next, columnar, of course. And then I'll have instead sort of TBL, I'm going to have F, sorry, FRM. All right. So I finished that. So, and this is how you create um, a form. And this is uh, yeah, this is how you actually create a form in, in Access. 
Um, there, there are other ways you can do that, but this is for now. This is the way we're going to do it for this um, lesson. Okay, you can do it through, through a query and some of those, but um, in subsequent uh, lessons, in subsequent uh, tasks, we'll see how we do that. Okay, so this is it. So uh, leave a comment below if you have any question, and then don't forget to subscribe. And thank you very much for supporting this channel. Take care of yourself. Bye.